All right, what's going on, Legends? A uh, bit of a review here for the weekend of footy coming up. I just thought I'd have a quick chat with you and uh, discuss sort of who we think is going to win, who we think is going to lose. Uh, the form coming out of the last weekend, um, sort of I'm just going to have a quick look at the website while I'm talking to you is to find out who's going to... Uh, hopefully, they've announced the teams. They might not announce it till later tonight. Um, but we're just going to have a quick look here. We've got the Swans and the Power. Uh, prelim final. I did not see the Power getting through to a prelim final. Fair play to them. They haven't announced the lineups yet, so that makes it a little bit trickier for me to guess who I think is going to win. But that being said, Port have beaten Sydney a lot recently. They haven't lost to them in eight years. So they've got the wood over them. But I think that with everything that is going on at the moment, uh, the Swannies should get up. I think that when the chips are down, I think that the Swans will rise to the occasion. I don't know if Port have... The thing that I took out of the Hawthorne game last week, as well as Port did play, and to their credit, they played a lot better than the Geelong game. They put in a lot more effort. But I just think, I don't know, there was a lot of times where there was fumbly... Um, pressure moments where both teams sort of struggled. Uh, I think that the Swans will probably come out harder than poor. I, I, again, I could be completely wrong and have absolutely no idea. And this is why I tend to stay away from doing these videos. But I thought during finals, probably a good time to do it. I'm going to tip the Swans to get up into the grand final. But I wouldn't be surprised if Port came out swinging early and the Swans had to work their way back into it. I always find when teams have a week off after winning a qualifying final, it's tricky to to win because you've had one game in a month of footy, basically. You've got to think the end of the season, then there was, there was a week off, and then you have first week of finals, then you win, and you have another week off. You know what I mean? So you just have a lot of time off. Um, and then you win, and then you have another week off. So they've played two games in you know a matter of how many weeks. So it's going to be interesting to see how they go, whereas Port have played the whole way through. And they've just got that sort of momentum and stability, um, which I think sometimes does work. So it's, going to be, it's always interesting to see prelim uh, finals because it's always a, a bit of a mixed bag. You don't know what you're going to get from the team that have had the weeks off as opposed to the teams that have had to grind their way out. I always look at like the 2016 Bulldogs when they won their prelims and stuff. like They beat teams that had sort of coasted through, whereas they had to play hard and for every scratch and cord for everything that they got the whole way through. Granted, the umpires probably handed them a premiership, but um, I'm going to tip the Swans. I'm going to tip the Swans by about four or five goals. I think that Port, if they're going to play their best footy, they're going to have to do it early in the game and get the jump on the Swans, which is what we've seen happen before. Um, but then you look at the qualifying final against the Giants, you can never count them out, uh, especially at home. So they play that ground so well. Port obviously play it well too, because if they haven't lost to them in a long time, then they're obviously doing something right. So it's going to be a fun game to watch uh, tomorrow night. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but um, let's just go Swannies by about 24 points. We'll move to the other one, which is the Cats and the Lions. 4.45 on a uh, Twilight Prelim. I hate that. Just make it a night game. Just I know it's they're trying to get them like two or three hours of extra recovery time at the same time, but like... I want to sit down on a Saturday night at like 9 o'clock and watch a prelim final. I don't want to be like racing home, you know, from whatever we're doing to try and watch it. Bit annoying, but again, haven't got the teams in yet. Going to be a hard one. This one's more evenly poised than the other one. It's $1.72 to $2.10 uh, with the Lions being the lesser odds. But I, it's hard. Like, like the Lions are where they came out and played last week. I feel like they played their grand final last week. And I feel like the Cats would have been licking their lips watching that game sort of thing. So I have, I just have this feeling that Geelong are going to wipe the floor with them. Um, I hope, I hope, I hope I'm wrong. I really do. I want I wanted the Lions to get to another grand final. I, I love Fagan. I love the Brisbane team. Um, there's just something about them that I can get around. I'm not a huge fan of Chris Scott. He just seems like a grumpy bugger. Um, but yeah, I just think the Cats at home, it's too hard. Brisbane haven't beaten the air in a long time. Like like Sydney against Port. Just haven't, you know, beaten beaten them for a long time in Victoria. It was like 2004 their last time, so it's been 20 years. I don't, I don't see that, you know, breaking uh, them breaking that streak anytime soon. So I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with the Cats by about four goals as well, uh, just because I think that they're going to be too strong. They'll be well rested and 
um, they'll be good to go. I think the Lions got through by the skin of their teeth last week, and I don't think that they can... Lightning can strike twice. Who knows, though? They might come out and shock them. You know, they might shock the world. They might come out and play like, you know, they've never played before, but I just don't see it happening. I just see the Cats getting uh, the advantage and just hanging on. They're just, they're just quality team, quality coach, as much as I don't like him. Um, and I just see the Cats getting up. So, uh, by my estimate, we're looking at a Sydney-Geelong grand final yet again. I don't want to see that. I want to see a Sydney-Brisbane grand final. There'll just be something nice just to not have a Victorian team in it for a change from a selfish, non-Victorian point of view. But um, good luck to both teams on the weekend. I hope to see a Sydney-Brisbane grand final. I think that'd be fantastic. Uh, but yeah, let me know who you think is going to win the comments below. And we'll see you guys in the reaction video on the other side of the weekend coming up. Bye for now. Peace.